I'm Patricia, your Aisha Angel. And today I will be doing another airport series. We're doing Philadelphia International Airport. Follow me. Okay, guys, come follow me to the Philadelphia International Airport. Um, like any airport, they have a cell phone in the waiting lot. Most of them do not advertise where the ride share lot is. You normally want to head for arrival flights, cell phone lot, waiting area. Kind of want to look for those signs. To date, there has been no right. There has been no airport that has advertised ride share as soon as you're riding in. So we're going to see if Philly is advertising it anywhere. So you're going to follow the signs where it says Philadelphia International Airport. I'm going to be speeding up throughout this video because, again, there's a lot of road to cover. And I needed to show you all how I got to my destination. So I'm taking the road on to cell phone lot, waiting lot. And then I'm also going to arrival flights. As I so as I said before, I'm going to speed it up because it's just so much road to cover, so much road. Of course, the airports have to design around the runway, I assume. So this first cell phone lot is not where you want to park. They actually have signs that say ride share is prohibited, and you want to look for the Marriott. Uh, the Marriott Hotel is a landmark, and also a thousand of these rental car companies on your left. Of course, you want to obey by the speed limit, which I think is about 25, 30 miles an hour. And then you want to follow the signs where it says return to terminal and airport exit. Again, there's one way in and one way out of these airports. You want to follow the rules, stop at the stop sign, and we will not be following that truck. So as we go around here, we want to get over to our right, and we want to follow the signs where it says Philadelphia, New Jersey, heading towards North 95, and we're going to make a left here. Now and again, you still haven't saw you have you still haven't seen a ride share lot sign, have you? So these videos are very important. Make a left here. No sign at all, but just telling you make a left because right there to your left is the beautiful ride share lot. Look at it, all the cars, but we're not there yet. We still have some more driving to do. So let's go around here to the light. And when we get ready to get to the light, we're going to make a left. But I saw something very interesting and I wanted to share it with y'all. And guess what? We see a Uber and Lyft sign. Oh my goodness. They are showing off. Go Philly. Go Philly. It's your birthday. Okay, let's go around. And guess what we're going to see again? Uh, let me tell you. Hurry up. Number two, another lift sign. And then guess what? They really, really showing off. Number three. Oh, hey. Now, we already had the ride share lot, and they got a thousand signs around it. But that is way more than I've seen at any other airport to date. So... <laughs> Very happy about that. And number four. Well, I'm throwing up eight now. But number four sign for Uber and Lyft. And this is the Uber and Lyft airport lot. Ride share lot at the airport. You want to turn in here. And this is where you wait. They have porta potty. So we are getting ready to leave the airport. And like I said, there's so much road in front of us. But I felt that I needed to show y'all how to get out of the airport. So you want to find, follow the signs of robbing flights and baggage area. Again, you will be receiving navigation at this time on how to get to your passenger. And your passenger should be at this time letting you know they're standing in front of column letter C or so forth or so on. Something to kind of give you a little bit more specifics so you'll be able to pick them up smoothly. As you see, there's a lot of road bump, a lot of speed bumps and lights, but Philadelphia is um, a okay size airport. It's not as big as Dallas. It's not as big as Atlanta. Even though Philadelphia is the large, the fifth largest city in the world, um, doesn't have the largest 
airport. I would actually say Newark and New York's airport is actually even bigger than Philadelphia's. But um, Philadelphia is, uh, you know, they're doing some renovations. Now here's how it looks at night where there's a nice amount of cars, the same amount that I was think, if not, maybe a little bit more from the morning. Um, I spoke to the past the drivers and they explained to me that they like to come out between three and nine and they've been making some pretty good money. So in this airport series, I thought I'll do something a little different. And I said, well, let me give them some information to talk to their passengers about. So this is me starting from Camden, New Jersey, going through the toll booth to make it to Philadelphia, the city of brotherly love. This is us driving over the Ben Franklin Bridge, going over to Philadelphia. Philadelphia is the home to the Eagles and the 76ers. And so what I decided to do is that, let me take you around town. Let me take you to some places that you can talk to your passengers about. I find the best way to really get some good tips and keep your passenger engaged is by sharing some unknown facts or maybe some known facts about your your city or state that you live in. Now, if you don't know any, feel free to just Google or pay attention to my videos and I'm gonna drop a few jewels for you so you'll be able to share that with your passengers. So now I'm taking you to Broad Street. Broad Street will be one of the first locations. Then I'm gonna take you to Market Street, then I'm gonna take you to Penn's Landing, then I'm gonna take you to South Street. So come on, come on. I'm gonna take you to a few places that you'll be able to also tell your passengers about. So here on Broad Street, actually my camera was messing up a little bit, so I wasn't able to catch the iconic statue, the L-O-V-E one. So here it is, I still gave you a picture of it. And then now I'm going around towards Broad Street now, very quickly. And I really do enjoy these videos, doing these videos for you guys. Please let me know if there's more that you would like to see. So we're gonna go around here. Now we're on Broad Street. To my right, there is Ritz-Carlton. Ritz-Carlton Hotel, it's a very upscale hotel. I would say this street is considered the Performing Arts Street. Actually, the Walnut Street Theater is one of the oldest running theaters here in Philadelphia. We're going to be approaching the Kimmel Center performing arts over to our right, right here. And then I'm also going to just show y'all a few things. Now I'm pointing at this mural that's right there because that is of many. Philadelphia has 2,000 murals outdoors. So here go a few and I just took a few pictures from the internet just to show you. And that's a nice little fun fact to tell your passengers. Do you know that Philadelphia has 2,000 murals? And then who knows, they can go on a little trip around town just taking pictures. They're so beautiful, so much color. Um, they speak on so many different things. So now I wanna take you Broad Street. This is going the opposite way. Just so you can see this iconic view of the Philadelphia City Hall building. This is where a lot of weddings and uh, maybe prom pictures or just tourists, they love to come and take a picture right here in the middle of the street, like where that car is flashing with the lights. They love to just take the picture, even with the cars going back and forth. It's really a nice photo. Um, so if you come to Philly, do that. Now we're here on Market Street, which is considered the fashion district. Um, gallery is on here. So if you want to shop for some clothing and so forth. Now again, this street is parallel to, um, to Broad Street. So Philadelphia has some large streets that you can walk. Now we're down here at the Old City area. Now, just a known fact, Betsy Ross is not the one who stitched the first American flag, but she lives over here. So you can go over there and check her out, um, check out her house. So now I wanna take y'all to Penn's Landing. Philadelphia is known for a lot of firsts. They are known for having the first American zoo. They are known for having the first hospital, the first medical school, the first newspaper. The newspaper was called the Philadelphia 
package and daily advertiser. I have some little notes here. Also, they were known for having the first company, which was a beer company here. So if you follow me now, we're going to make a right here. And if you have a passenger that may want some seafood, this would be an area that I would recommend them to go. The Chart House is a really good restaurant. I hear good reviews from there. I haven't been there. The Spirit of Philadelphia is the bigger white boat back there. That I have had hors d'oeuvres and went to a few day parties on that boat. And then we have the Mo Cholu. The Mo Cholu. I have been practicing that. And I'm going to get out and kind of take you a little bit closer. So let's go up to where it's how much it costs to park there. And then you have the Mo Cholu. And now I'm going to walk up closer. That is the Delaware River. That is the river that is separating Camden, New Jersey, and Philadelphia. And this is the Mo Cholu. I had the pleasure of dining on this beautiful boat. It is... There's some history with it, right? The Mosho Lu means one who fears nothing. It's the tallest ship today in the world that's still operable. And it used to carry coal and at one time people. Mm, that's another story. This boat and restaurant is very famous. It's been in two movies, Rocky and Godfather 2. Now let's go to South Street. I love the pebble rolls, the paved rolls. I wanted to show y'all that Philly still have a taste of that. And then you just, I'm on a, I'm on a street on side of, I'm on another street because Philadelphia has a lot of one-way streets. And so in order for me to get up to the part of South Street to come down the opposite way, I want to go up a little bit further. So, and I also thought it'd be nice to show you how some of the homes are um, close together and how they're located. So you'll make a right, a left here, sorry, you'll make a left here onto South Street. And as you see, most of the restaurants are building their uh, restaurants out, their dining area out to the street so they can have more out, outside seating. It was a pretty nice day. I think it was like about a Friday or something. And um, the weather was nice and it was a lot of people outside. Um, as you know, Philadelphia is known for cheesesteaks. So, of course, that would be a good thing you want to tell your passengers about. Like, where's the best place to eat? Uh, where's the best place to get a cheesesteak? Um, again, that all depends on what you're into. If you know, if you know of a place, or if you've dropped off passengers numerous times. I love Fat Tuesdays, so that's why you see my big old finger point in there. And Trump was just in town, and he even got some cheesesteak. And there's Jim Cheese Jim Steakhouse right there. That is a popular cheesesteak spot here on South Street. You see the line wrapped around the corner. And I just showed you a few pictures on how it looks like on the inside and what their steak looked like. And this is just me and taking you to the end of South Street. Just showing you again the beautiful water, the beautiful scenery, the Mosholu. I want you to practice saying that. And now it's time to say goodbye to Philly. I wanted to show you all the skyline over to the side. And remember to vote. Until next time, like, comment, and share. Bye!